something is sleeping. And the skink is about to wake up from a long sleep. It's 10 degrees. Its heart beats 10 times per minute. The skink has a three-chambered heart. Its heart rate is determined by external temperatures. And as spring has set in, it will become more active. There is no true state of REM when they sleep. In fact, little is known about the sleeping habits of reptiles. This, this animal, needs to rest for hours to conserve energy. She wakes up. They're diurnal, active by day, sleep at night. These animals are different, and sometimes I feel different too. Keeping reptiles can be lonely. You see, they're not after your affection or seeking your attention. It's more like observing art, which can be rewarding, but also lonely at times. You see, reptiles are solitary creatures by nature, and keeping them requires you to accept that their companionship will be different. The experience is uniquely fulfilling for me in its own way. She should be in some dry, rocky grassland and desert on the other side of the world, but she's here at the bottom of the world where food is not scarce and there's plenty of drinking water. It's a crustacean, but it doesn't look like a crab. In fact, it lives on land in my garden. They play a vital role in ecosystems. They break down organic matter and recycle the nutrients back into the soil. A pet, a cleaner, and food. She's two and a half thousand kilometers away from her natural habitat, but she's not the only one. Slow and docile in nature, she doesn't need to move fast. She's big, she's a skink, she can lose her tail, but she also has a wicked blue tongue that will scare off predators. When I said she wasn't the only one two and a half thousand kilometers away, I wasn't kidding. This Cunningham skink is part of the same range and habitat, and they live just fine together. This guy has aposematic coloring. He wants to look dangerous, but he's actually really calm. Don't be fooled by his calm demeanor. Like a lot of amphibians, he's got tetrodotoxins in his skin. It's a potent neurotoxin that can be dangerous. Picture this. A tiny tree frog, nocturnal, has an incredible cold climate tolerance, naturalized in New Zealand, from Australia. Remarkable. I'm gonna leave you with this New Zealand frost gecko, located at the bottom of the world, endemic to New Zealand, nocturnal, amazing camouflage and can live in incredible climates unlike many other species around the world being primarily nocturnal coming out at night to feed and also enjoy a drink these geckos will live for a long time even up to 30 years in captivity so we'll see they slowly reproduce one to two years but hopefully i see some generations coming through i'm excited It's not weird, it's art. <laughs>